Hello everyone and welcome to Action RPG. I'm your host Aaron. And for today's video, we're headed to the world of Torchlight Infinite. Season 1 Dark Surge is officially upon us, and this is video number 2 on my character breakdown series. If you didn't see Carino, the Divine Shot video, I will link it at the end of this video. But today, we are talking about the Commander. The one that leads the army himself, and that is Commander Moto. Now, if you are a minion fanatic, if you like having extremely fast, extremely powerful hordes of not undead, of not beasts, but of robots, this character is for you. And if you see gameplay of what these minions are capable of, I mean, it is truly a fun, fun class, and we are going to explore it today. So if minions are for you, Commander Moto is going to be your pick. Enjoy a quick 30 second trailer for the commander. I take thee to the endless torrents of steel. Now, before we get to my gameplay, which you are going to thoroughly enjoy, we have to talk about weapons for Commander Moto. For all my character breakdowns, I talk about the preferred weapons for the build. And for Commander Moto, unlike any other class in the game, the weapon actually does not matter. You are not going to get a huge boost in damage or really any boost in damage to your minions through your weapon, which I wish that they would add some weapon affixes for minion damage. But as of right now, you will not get that. You will get it on other pieces of gear. So if I were you, okay, if I'm Commander Moto and I'm leveling up this build or I am playing end game, I'm likely using a one handed axe, a one handed sword, a one handed hammer, and then I'm using a shield for survivability. OK, so if you are somebody that really loves having a huge damage dealing weapon, this class might not be for you. It is more about other skills that you would use for this build. For example, like your movement skill or your leap attack, you would scale your weapon for those, but unfortunately not your minions, something to keep in mind. You have all been so patient, it's now time to check out live gameplay for Commander Moto. And I gotta say, I feel like this character is a fan favorite. You see him all over Discord and all over the forums and all in the town hubs, because the way your minions, the way your robots operate feels pretty special from an AI perspective. And you will see this right now. What we're going to be using is Summon Machine Guard and Summon Spider Tank. Again, this is not a build guide. Okay, This is not a build guide. This is just a showcase gameplay. That's important. So let's make some spiders. And let's make some guards. And look at how fast and aggressive they are. Right now, we are inside of the Nether Realm. Literally, they bounce and pop and just go everywhere. And then I'd have different skills that I use that can do different things. So, for example, if I use machine army, it's going to give me an attack speed and buffs for my minions. Obviously not for me, but for my minions. What's so interesting is they teleport to you if you get too far ahead. They sprint. They hit like monsters. I mean, it's pretty great. It's pretty fun. If you are a minion fan, you will see why so many people like this build. Look at this. Now, in this game, too, you can also go sentries. If you want to go sentries, you could also go these little, um, uh, little like elemental shooters with Magnus. Torchlight Infinite has lots of 
minion possibilities. All right, come and get me. Now, just like our divine shot for Commander Moto down here, you will see your F and inside of your hero trait, that is overload, overload. It just makes your minion stronger. A lot stronger. Punch him. What's always great about minion builds as well is they're normally a lot easier to level because you're always clearing the whole screen. Or, you know, you got a berserker. Sometimes maybe you'll only kill the people in line of sight or the minions will make sure the entire run is complete. Who's next? Let's go this way. No. Get out of my way, minions. You're too aggressive. Oh, you know what? I think I know what I missed. Is it right down in that little hole? Let's see. Let's see. Boss is right here hiding. I find you. I can't even see what's happening. Hey, a awesome. Look at this. Reflect on your wrong. And you dead. Steel. Throw out some dark surges. Anyone left? Come on, come and get me. Now, what's cool about Commander Moto as well is technically you can use any weapon you want. You are not required to use a bow or use anything else. This will be the last combat. Give them everything. Break through the shield, come on. Hey, a machine also needs to rest. Pretty cool, right? Now, like I'm doing in all my character breakdown videos, I'm explaining the hero traits for this character. Now, the hero traits are what tr truly makes your character unique. And what XD, the studio behind Torchlight Infinite, what their plan is, is they're gonna release new hero traits in the future and really what that is, is almost adds an entirely new hero because it completely changes the way you play it. So in here, you have a couple options. Obviously, you're going to have to use ordering call. Then you're going to have, do you want all in or do you want forward charge? This is going to completely change how your overload, your unique mechanic for the commander actually works. Then you'll move over to veteran, which you have to take. And then you'll have another choice. Do you want Brothers in Arms or do you want Last Stand? Again, completely changes the way your character operates. And then last but not least, once you hit level 80, do you want Rest and Ready or do you want Go for Broke? Now, for me, I just wanted them as fast and aggressive as humanly possible. That's why they're literally just beaming all over the map. And if I had more time and if I was making this build different, I probably would have taken some kind of blink or movement skill so it's easy for me to get out of their way because... You know, you bump into them all over the place. So Commander Moto, minion focused, and there's lots of different minions in the game. I just think the actual robot army is the best. That's why I put iRobot in the beginning of this video. That's the character. You like minions, this is the one for you. But I want to know your opinion. And again, this isn't a build guide. Do you think Torchlight Infinite did a good job with the commander? Do you think this is a class you can select? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Two asks at the end of this video. Ask number one, I'm hoping today is the day I have earned your subscription. Hoping today is the day you make the decision to push that little red button. I would really appreciate it. It really does help the channel moving forward in 2022. Ask number two, check out my Patreon. Thank you to the first 47 members that have signed up 
Become an instant ARPG VIP and get Patreon exclusive content at the first link in the description. We have a weekly blog post, weekly podcast, access to the VIP lounge, and lots of other goodies based upon where you sign up at. In that VIP lounge, you could chit chat with me, which is always fun. Again, first link in the description. That's all I've got. Commander Moto, hopefully you were entertained or at least learned something. Aaron, out. Legion, come on. out.